Um, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com. I'm here with Logitech, and we're showing Google TV with the uh, Logitech application for Android that's going to um, that's going to work with the TV, right? Yes, exactly. So the, the application will actually would work on Android and on the iPhone. Okay. We're actually I'm having like right now an iPhone in the hand. Mm -hmm. So so essentially, what this application is is it will be a navigation for your Google TV experience. But also, it will be an entire Harmony remote control. Mm -hmm. So think of a Harmony remote control today uh, that I'm sure you're familiar with. What we've done, we've brought that, that technology inside the Logitech companion box with Google TV. So now, not only from the controller that would come out of the box with a, with a companion box, but also from your smartphone, you can have an entire Harmony experience without adding any additional hardware uh, around your smartphone. What you see here is, if you're familiar with Harmony remote control, is basically the different activities so you can build whatever activity you have depending on your home entertainment system and your usage of it. Here I have three activities, watch TV, listen to CDs, and play Xbox. So for example, I will press watch TV, and then in one touch, it will turn on all of my AV entertainment system on the right input. So my receiver on the right input will turn on the TV, it will tune the, the receiver to the right input on the, with a the setup box, and with a companion box that you see here, which sits in between the receiver and the, and the setup box. So now, I'm actually, and you can see here, I'm actually using a TiVo for that demo. So here what I can do, I just have a remote control. So I can bring up info, and it will bring the info on, on the TV. I can bring up the guide, and I'm in the TiVo guide. I can even go here to TiVo, to the menu, and now what I have, I have actually, I can navigate into my recordings. So I would, for example, go to the Simpson, and I will just press, so I will go back here, and I will press play. Network connection is down, so I guess I will have to go somewhere else. So let's go back here. And so essentially, I just have all my TV. I, here, for example, you can see a button search. I'm gonna, not going to press on it today mm -hmm. because we're not demoing the Google TV UI in, in, today in that room. Okay. But essentially, this remote control would be a combination of a Harmony remote and a Google TV controller. So when I'm done with TV, so I'm going to live TV, let's say I want now to listen to music. So I just go to activities and I press listen to CD. What's happening here? That's turning off my TV changing my receiver to my Blu-ray CD player, and now I can actually just press play, and I will be listening to music. That's awesome. And as you can see, there's no hardware, any additional hardware on the smartphone is just taking advantage of the Harmony engine that resides in the Logitech companion box. I can pause, I can go back to my activities, let's say I want now to play Xbox 360 game. Okay. So that one will essentially turn on my Xbox, which I'm sure you're familiar with the experience. Mm -hmm. And so here, that one will have been, I say, oh. oh, okay, Steven just tell me he disconnected the Xbox, so obviously we won't be able to access the Xbox. But I think, I think, I think you understand essentially here is, as I said, is a combination of a Google TV experience input device, which at a later point we'll be very happy to demonstrate to you. Mm -hmm. But today already we can show you that beyond the Google TV experience, you're going to have a full harmony into your smartphone. How does the how does the app know connect to this specific TV and this specific receiver? So this so the smartphone app connects actually to the to the Logitech companion box through Wi-Fi. Okay. And then the Logitech companion box itself, who runs the harmony software, knows in the set in during the setup that you. you you, you basically enter which TV, which AVR, which setup box you own. Just very similar, exactly the same way you would do with a, with a Harmony remote, and actually you'll probably do that even during the Google TV setup. Mm -hmm. And so from there is actually the companion box itself that will take the command that comes from the smartphone and will blast the IR codes in the order that is necessary to put you in the right state for your home entertainment system and your selected activity. So there's just a, there's a code that you put in from that, that specific box into the application. Oh, so 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 Harmony is uh, so we have you know one we have an online database with Harmony that actually uh, stores all of the devices and the IR commands. So during setup, 
when you, for example, in this particular example, you you, you enter which Samsung uh, TV model number you have or which Onkyo receiver model you have, we will download to the logic companion box the IR codes associated to that device. Okay. And from there, Watch TV is essentially an activity that knows all of the different IR commands it needs to send to the different devices mm -hmm. to put your system in the right status. And on top of that, we have a technology called Smart State that remembers at which stage you were in your home entertainment system. So let's say, in the example, we were watching TV and we press listen to music, so it turned off my TV. But if, I were, if my TV was already mm -hmm. off and I press listen to, to listen to music, it will know that my TV is off, so it will not send any comment to my TV. What about though, if I'm saying if you take that phone and you go to your friend's house that has Google TV? So, very easy. You just need to pair to... So here in this particular example, we, we paired our app to, uh, to the companion box. If you go to your friend's house, mm -hmm. you just pair your app to your friend's Google TV system. And since the Harmony setup and the engine is on your, on your friend's companion box, mm -hmm. You don't need to set up anything else in your app except just pairing it with the right compa Logitech companion box. Awesome. Then it's another question whether your friend would be happy that you <laughs> take control of your home right. payment system. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the product is, if you can see it, the thing with the two little green lights. And is that what's on the desk right here, too? Uh, exactly. Um, That's what right I'm the desk. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah. Awesome. So it's very dis very discreet box that fits into your home entertainment system. It's just compatible with any brand you may have of HGTV or or, H, or HDMI uh, set-top box. So people should get really familiar to that because they're going to be buying it this holiday season at Best Buy, right? Yeah, I can show you this way. Here we go. Awesome. Great. Thank you for the tour. You're more than welcome. And so now I have the Android version in my hand, so we're not going to go through the demo once again, but you can see that here there are different activities which are set up. And in particular here you had, we had the Watch TV, we went through it. The, you, but actually you can even go directly to one app, like YouTube, or even launch a video call uh, that, you know, with, the, with the client that will run on the Logitech companion box. So we did the demo with the iPhone, but this is the, the this same, is Android version. same concept. Android version, and this is what they used at the keynote presentation, correct? Uh, so at the keynote presentation, they, they essentially use solely a controller of Google TV. Here what we're showing is a controller of Google TV with the addition of a Harmony application. Awesome. Great. Thank you.